Okay, so you have an Xbox controller or a PS4 controller and you want to use a single button zone. And you're also on PC. This will work if you own the game on Uplay or if you own the game on Steam. I own the game on Uplay so I don't have Scappy support so I won't get the same thing as you, but I can show you how to do it if you do own the game on Steam. If you don't own the game on Steam, you'll go down here to add game and you'll hit add a non-Steam game. You'll find where your For Honor is installed and add it. Then you can come up here into settings, go to controller, and enable controller support for your controller. You probably have this anyways, but if you don't, you need to go enable it. Then you go here to controller configurator, you click it, pops up this nice neat window, and I wanted to bind zone to B, you go here to B. Then you want to go here and hit show activators. Here's your normal B press with the B button. We want to add a new activator, a double press. For those of you with a Steam copy of the game, you'll have to do one extra step, where under bindings, you will hit legacy keys, and that will give you the button prompts here. So there we go, we added right bumper. But we want a zone, so we do two of them, two activators, both on double press. There we go, right bumper, right trigger. All you had to do is click that simple. Then we want these to be a little quicker so it doesn't act activate on its own. So maybe maybe drop it to about there. Take this one. Put it in about the same spot. Eh, good enough. You don't have to do that. You can leave it at default. The video I played was playing it at default. But there you go. You now have a single button zone. This won't mess with your buttons at all in game. They'll still show up as your standard controller buttons, either the PS4 or the Xbox One buttons. None of your other attacks will be messed up and your feint will work just fine. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the battlefield.